Uh, which of the following is most likely diagnosis? A uh, 60 year old man presents to the clinic, complaints of fatigue, dizziness, and itching after taking hot showers. Okay, on examination, his face appears flushed, his spleen is palpable, three centimeters below the left costal margin. Uh, complete blood count reveals red blood cell mass, white blood cell count, and platelet count. Further labs shows low serum uh, EPO levels. Okay. Um, I know that the taking after hot showers, I'm pretty sure is two things here. So polycythemia vera and secondary polycythemia. Um, but let me see if the rest of the vignette lines up with this. Fatigue, dizziness, and itching after taking hot showers. Uh, elevated red blood cell mass. I thought that with polycythemia vera that you would have high EPO levels. That's the only thing that's bothering me. It doesn't seem like it fits, but everything else does. He's the okay. right bracket. Okay. What'd your gut say? My gut says to do poly polycythemia vera. Okay. Do you want to keep it or change it? I think I would keep it. Yeah, so let's talk about this, right? Fatigue, dizziness, itching after hot showers, flush face, splint omega, elevated blood red blood sats. Um, and then low EPO is polycythemia vera, right? Which okay. is myeloproliferative disorder, right? Increased production of all three uh, hematocell lines. Yeah, that's why I was confused. I'm like, wouldn't, wouldn't your EPO be high in this disease? So, this? So, yeah, so so remember, polycythemia vera, right, is your bone marrow is creating more red blood cells without EPO. Oh, uh, okay. Right? You're thinking about secondary polycythemia vera, right? Okay. Um, which, you know, hypoxemia, EPO. Oh, uh, yeah, that's like with the renal cell carcinoma sometimes. exactly okay. so things like that right is epo super super increased which stimulates your bone marrow right polycythemia vera is the primary location is actually your bone marrow doing it without um without regulation without signaling you get what i'm saying okay yes okay okay so one thing that i'd like to point out here is you said everything except this doesn't make sense right on a right. test speaking standpoint if everything points there except one then it's probably you misremembering something. So you should probably, oh, pick, okay. Right. On a test taking strategy, right? That mm -hmm. means you should probably pick the thing that, that supports your kind of thought process most. Okay. okay. Um, that's what I always say. Like, if you're having issues on a 50 50, let's say you're like C and D or C and E, right? Mm -hmm. You're like, man, like my gut says C, but you know, this doesn't make sense with it because I thought it was high EPO, but everything else does. If everything else does, you got to pick because there's more evidence towards that answer, you know? Right. So.